Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Friends welcome to Haseeb Electronics In this video how we can troubleshoot WR3M Because uh, this time unluckily my desoldering gun stopped working today So I will check it how we can troubleshoot I powered it on I powered on the number one channel is connected to the soldering iron soldering iron is connected to when I lift the soldering iron it is heating up okay it is heating up I will connect the temperature probe here is temperature setting temperature setting and I will press the yellow function now it's 27 25 degrees centigrade you can see that I, I did not connect it I just put it near the soldering iron tip it's now increasing the temperature so I will not connect I will just put it closer that so this environment it's heating up so that means the soldering iron it's heating up you can see it's hot now I set the temperature 417 degree for the channel number 2 channel number 2 channel number 2 is desoldering gun this gun but it is not heating up it is not heating up because it is cold it is cold it is selected channel number two it is at room, room temperature so that means it is not heating up for troubleshooting now I have two channels this heat gun not working and the soldering iron is working now we have to check where is the problem so we can connect soldering iron to this port this port or we can connect soldering iron to any plate desoldering gun to any port there is no difference so I will remove we have to find problem is there or in the desoldering gun so I removed this one and I remove the soldering iron because soldering iron is working here at port number one now it is heating up I will remove it and take care of the guide and connect yes it's connected and when I will lift it up you can see automatically it is selected so that means the controller temperature controller is working the soldering iron at this port it was heating up okay now we will see it is temp the temperature is increasing and here we can see on multimeter the temperature is increasing 417 degree here it is giving so it is heating up we can see it is heating up the same time if I will connect the desoldering gun here you can see it is detected but the temperature is not raising up okay we can check if I will heat it up I will uh, read from channel number one and I will put soldering iron I will connect oh wow that means that means the sensor of this uh, soldering desoldering gun is working but the heating element is not working so we will check where is the problem weller BSX 80 this technical manual it is in many uh, languages German and uh, I don't know I cannot understand the language we can go to 
repair of defects. Pin number one and two is heater. Pin number one and two, one and two. Pin number one and two is heater. DS eighty six point two ohm. Ohm. Number one and number two. The multimeter is working. The multimeter is working and it is not giving any resistance. So maybe the cable, maybe the cable or the element. So here is contact pin and here is the switch ok now we have two lines the one line it is heater and heater return <laughs> the red lines the two red lines are for heater this line this line and this line is heater wire so these two lines are heater and two lines are sensor temperature sensor are two lines and two lines are heater we, we will check that to ohms and uh, connect to ohm it should give 6.2 ohm it is not reading anything so we have to remove We will check the cable. Number one is here. Number one is here. And uh, number two is one and two. So the cable, the wire, the wire itself from here until here, the wire is okay. This guy downside. This is number one pin, and here is number two pin. And now we have no continuity from that means the cable is good, the problem is here. So we will remove, so we will remove this heating element. I removed it because this is my big loss. I will purchase it because this this time due to lockdown I cannot purchase it. Okay. Heating element and we can test heating element by setting it to Oham. I set it to Oham and
it is 0 ohm but if I connect to this it should be 6 ohm 6.2 ohm 6.2 ohm so this element is open it is disconnected it's burn out we can see the sharpened edge it is broken from inside no solution other than purchasing this one so I will purchase and uh, we will make another tutorial to how we can replace the heating element so this is my big loss so heater is el heating element is problematic so I have to replace until that I will use manual sucker I will use this manual sucker I have uploaded video to how to use manual sucker so you can find that one thanks for watching stay blessed assalamu alaikum